Hello everyone. Today our lesson is about solving word problems regarding weights. Before we proceed to our discussion, let us recall first what you have learned last time. Who can remember what did we discuss last time? All right, it's all about estimating weights. Can you tell me what is the difference between the actual weight and the estimated weight? Actual weight is the exact value or measurement of the weight, while estimated weight is the value or measurement that is close enough to the correct weight. Very good. How do we find the error in estimation? We find the error in estimation by subtracting the actual measurement and the estimated measurement. Excellent. Now let's proceed to our new lesson. Let us discuss first the steps in solving a word problem. First is we need to understand. So what are the things that we need to understand in a word problem? Of course, we need to understand the question being asked in the problem. We also need to pay attention on the information given in the word problem. These are important for us to carry out a plan to solve the given problem. So in planning, we should recognize the keyword that will help us identify what mathematical operation is appropriate to be used to solve the problem. If everything is sorted out, we can now Solve by creating a mathematical number sentence first, followed by the solution that will bring us the answer to the question. Is it understood? Okay, I will repeat. So again, the first step is we need to understand the question being asked in the problem as well as the information given in the problem. Then in planning, we should recognize the keyword used in the problem to help us identify what mathematical operation should be used to solve the problem. Then after that, we can now create a number sentence that will help us easily solve the problem. Okay, now let us have examples. Example number one, the total weight of six trucks is 30 tons. They are of equal weight. What is the weight of each truck? Okay, so let us understand the word problem, the question being asked is, what is the weight of each truck? So typically, the question will be found at the end of the word problem. Okay, so that is the question we need to answer later. The given information are the total weight of six trucks is 30 tons. Each truck has the same weight. Okay, since you already have the given information, we can now plan. So in planning, you can also draw illustration for you to easily understood 
what the problem is all about. So again, we have six trucks of equal weight and the total weight of the six trucks is 30 tons. Now we need to find out the weight of each truck. Again, when we say the word each, it means one. So we need to find out what is the weight of one truck. So by looking at our illustration, we can think of the appropriate mathematical operation. And our mathematical operation for this word problem is division. Okay, now let us solve. So our number sentence will be 30 divided by 6 is equal to blank. Now let us answer the question. Again, the total weight is 30 tons and there are 6 trucks. So 30 divided by 6 is equal to 5. 5 times 6 is equal to 30. And 30 minus 30 is equal to 0. Therefore, the weight of one truck is 5 tons. Now let us check the answer. We get 30 when we multiply 5 by 6. So, Five is a reasonable answer. Is it clear? Okay, let us have another example. Example number two, the weight of one bottle is one kilograms and 500 grams. What is the weight of four such water bottles? So the question being asked in the problem is, what is the weight of four such water bottles? The information given are, the weight of one bottle is one kilograms, or one kilogram and 500 grams. There are four water bottles. Now let us plan. Again, we have four water bottles, one, two, three, four. And one water bottle is one kilogram and 500 grams. So what do you think is the appropriate mathematical operation to be used in this problem? Remember, we need to find the total weight or the weight of four such water bottles. So to find the answer, we need to use multiplication for our mathematical operation. Now let us solve. Our number sentence will be one kilogram and 500 grams multiplied by four is equal to blank. Now let us solve and answer the question. So again, each water bottle is one kilogram and 500 grams. There are four water bottles. So our solution will be one kilogram and 500 grams times four is equal to four kilograms and 2,000 grams. We all know that 1,000 kil, I mean 1,000 grams is equal to one kilogram. So 2,000 grams will be equal to two kilograms. 
So for kilograms and 2,000 grams will be four kilograms plus two kilograms is equal to six kilograms. Therefore, the weight of four such water bottles is six kilograms. Now let us check the answer. We get one kilogram and 500 grams when we divide six kilograms by four. So six kilograms is a reasonable answer. Okay, is that clear? All right, let us have another example. Letter A, what is the total weight of the oranges and mangoes? Letter B, which is heavier, the oranges or the mangoes? How much heavier? Give your answer in grams. Okay, let us answer first letter A. Again, the question is, what is the total weight of the oranges and mangoes? By looking at the dial spring scale or the spring dial scale, we can tell that the oranges weigh one kilogram and three kid and the mangoes weigh one kilogram and eight kid. So our keyword here is the word total. And we all know that total indicates addition. So for the mathematical operation, we will be using addition. So the solution will be one kilogram and three kid plus one kilogram and eight kid is equal to two kilograms and 11 kid. We all know that 10 kid is equal to one kilogram, so 11 kid is equal to one kid and, a, sorry, one kilogram and one kid. So two kilogram and 11 kid will be two kilograms plus one kilogram and one kid. So two kilogram plus one kilogram is equal to three kilograms and one kid. Therefore, the total weight of the oranges and mangoes is three kilogram and one kid. Okay, can you follow? All right, let's proceed. Which is heavier, the oranges or the mangoes? So we all know that the oranges weigh one kilogram and three kid and the mangoes weigh one kilogram and eight kid. So which is heavier, the oranges or the mangoes? The answer is, all right. Now, next question. How much heavier is the mangoes than the oranges? So our solution will be one kilogram and eight kid minus one kilogram and three kid is equal to five kid. Again, it says, give your answer in grams. So we need to convert five kid in grams. And we all know that 
one kid is equal to 100 grams. So five kid will be equal to 100 grams times five is equal to 500 grams. Therefore, the mangoes are 500 grams heavier than the oranges. All right, if you do understand our lesson, let us now have a practice. Solve the word problem. Two days ago, three tons and 250 kilograms of stones was shipped to country A. Yesterday, two tons and 850 kilograms was shipped to country B. How many stones were shipped altogether? So the question being asked in the problem is, how many stones were shipped altogether? And the information given are, two days ago, three tons and 200 kilograms of stones was shipped to country A. Yesterday, two tons, 850 kilograms was shipped to country B. Now let us plan. So country A and country B. So in country A, 3 tons and 250 kilograms was shipped two days ago. In country B, 2 tons and 850 kilograms was shipped yesterday. So our keyword is the word altogether. And again, all together indicate addition. So we need to find out how many kilograms of stones were shipped in country A and country B. So we need to add both weights from country A and country B. Okay, now let us solve. Our number sentence will be 3 tons and 250 kilograms plus 2 tons and 850 kilograms is equal to blank. So for the solution, again, two days ago, three tons and 250 kilograms of stones was shipped to country A. Yesterday, two tons and 850 kilograms was shipped to country B. So the answer is five tons and 1,100 kilograms. So again, three tons and 250 kilograms plus two tons and 850 kilograms is equal to five tons and 1,100 kilograms. We all know that 1,000 kilograms is equal to one ton. So 1,100 kilograms will be equal to one ton and 100 kilograms. So five tons and 1,100 kilograms will be five tons plus one ton and 100 kilograms is equal to six tons and 100 kilograms. So five, five plus one is equals to six, 
then bring down 100. Therefore, 6 tons and 100 kilograms of stones were shipped all together. So to check our answer, 6 tons and 100 kilograms is larger than 3 tons and 250 kilograms and 2 tons and 850 kilograms. So 6 tons and 100 kilograms is a reasonable answer. Okay, so is it clear? Is everything understood? Okay, if you say so, that will be all for today. So I hope you enjoy and learn something. And for the assessment, before I forgot, you need to answer exercise numbers five, six, and seven on pages 72 to 73 of your book. So again, that's all for today. Thank you for listening. See you next time.